Hi guys, my name is Matthias, this is Starfield, and as you probably can tell by this little clip here, I have upgraded my booster packs or jetpacks, whatever you want to call them, and this is going to be my 40 plus hours review of the game. I think at the time of making this video, I have somewhere a, uh, a little bit more than 42 hours into the game, and uh, I've got to say, as much as uh, I will focus on the fun and the epic looking action based moments in this video, there's a lot of just grinding and uh, resource managing and buying, selling, looting that a lot of people do not appreciate that much. Also keep in mind, I do stream this game. All the gameplay uh, that I do that you see in this video and every time I play this game, I stream it. But that is on my main channel, Matthias Gaming. This is my secondary channel where I upload this video. Now, I don't know if you play the game anywhere similar to how I play it, but one of the things that takes up a lot of my time is, of course, choosing weapons and uh, the right combinations of weapons, partly based on my playstyle, but also partly based on ammo economics, which makes me lean more and more into the slow fire rate, high damage weapons, unlike what you saw here in the beginning, where I showed you some of the fast fire rate weapons that I don't actually use that much. I do play the game on medium graphic settings, for the most part I haven't put a lot of emphasis into uh, optimizing my gameplay experience. I have a 4070 graphics card and uh, I, I have basically the same kind of low frame rate that everybody else is talking about. However, as a Battlefield player I would say that in a game like Bethes any Bethesda game based on this uh, creation engine, whatever it's actually called. It doesn't matter anyway nearly as much as it matters on a multiplayer game. This is a single player game and uh, the biggest problem I would say with this game through and through is the old engine that this game is built on. This game is built on the very same engine that Oblivion was built on in 2006 and uh, the first game that I ever played from Bethesda which was Fallout 3. You can clearly tell when you play this game that this is the same game engine as Fallout 3, the, the, especially with the movement, the weapons handling, the delays when you switch between certain things like certain weapons or when you want to throw a grenade, when you want to crouch, things like that. It's, it's just not very responsive, but uh, the game is about adventure and exploring, at least the way I play it. As you probably noticed that when I was first engaging with these robots here, one of them was shooting through the door and my uh, companion was also shooting through the door. And this thing with doors being bugged one way or another, these bugs are very similar to what I experienced in Fallout 3 way back, I don't know, during the Stone Age or whenever it was. Now, the game does have a lot of new features, but if you want to sum it up, this is Fallout in space with a tiny bit of um, this hero chosen one uh, dragonborn-esque type feel to it when it comes to the artifact. Well, I'm, maybe I'm saying too much now. I, I apologize if this is some kind of spoiler, but if you're watching a video uh, this late after the game is released, and you, if you're watching this kind of video, you gotta expect a little bit of spoilers. Now, this is something that I didn't get into all that fast. Uh, the space fighting, and that is because the default uh, the default ship that you get it moves so slowly and it's so uh, tedious to control the weapons. Uh, it's, it's a little bit weird. I'm used to more fast pace, uh, quick aim, quick maneuvering things, and this isn't really my style. Or at least initially, I didn't think so. But I'm coming around to it. It, it looks cool. It's uh, interesting aspect of the game and without a doubt the most epic the most interesting the most fun I've had with any kind of spaceship battles is uh, this when I was able to defeat some of my enemies here after a lot of trying actually I, I had some problems with this I'm not gonna lie and I eventually was able to board a ship it's a combination of pressing the right buttons at the right time after you have disabled the enemy ship's shield and you get close enough to it so that uh, on PC, if you haven't changed the key bindings, the R button shows up here and uh, you can actually get the option to board said ship. Now, after these uh, space battles that I had, I actually took some time to build and upgrade uh, one of the ships and uh, I'm not gonna tell you too much about it. There's a mission that you get 
uh, quite early in the game that takes you quite far away from uh, the uh, st uh, the star system where you normally hang out and uh, on that mission you get a, a better ship and I even upgraded this better ship and um, uh, let me see I'm not even sure if that's the ship I'm flying here maybe it is maybe it's not um, actually I think it is yeah I'm not gonna lie this game is very overwhelming it's it's a lot to learn it's a lot to take in and me being a streamer youtuber of course I can spend a bit more time with games than most people can and uh, well this is quite time consuming well, the way I play the game is time consuming because that's the way I want to play these kinds of games now check this out you get close to the raccoon here and I actually thought I did something wrong and failed well I probably did a lot of things wrong to be honest no I was just about to dock with yeah I am docking I am docking I'm docking with them. I'm boarding. I'm boarding them. Of course. So, I boarded this ship. Notice here. See how I get cloaked there? I'm not going to tell you how that happened because that's part of the story. Um obviously uh, you probably already know it if you're watching these kinds of videos I'm trying to not reveal too much but uh, yeah this is how I took over my first ship ever and by the time that you're watching this video maybe I've taken over more ships because that was a lot of fun now me personally I'd say I made a few mistakes of not upgrading my piloting uh, early enough I didn't upgrade my lock picking early enough uh, I've been focusing mostly on ballistic weapons but I actually nowadays use a uh, uh, laser weapon called Orion the most I like it uh, the best I know it fits my playstyle somehow and it reminds me of Fallout again because I really did like laser weapons in Fallout as well now the NPCs in the games whether they are your enemies or your friends they do behave in the standard fashion of a Bethesda game it's almost as if time has stood still since Fallout 3 well in that regard anyway hey can you shoot oh now, if I haven't misunderstood uh, the way that your followers behave, is that you need to give them a weapon and a few bullets that match that weapon. Maybe it's enough with one bullet, actually, I don't even know. But I only give them a few bullets with that weapon and they just keep shooting uh, endlessly. I've never seen that I have to resupply them with ammunition uh, the way that you have to do with yourself. Let's talk. <laughs> Grizzly, but part of the job. Oh, is that their ship? Can I get their ship? Actually, at the time of making this video, I don't know if you can get that ship. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. Where's my man? Where's my cowboy? Uh... Yeah, I just had to show you that, guys. Now, when it comes to the graphics in this game, People have a lot of mixed feelings about it. I think it's. I think it looks great. Um, the faces, obviously, they are a little bit stale, uh, old school Bethesda again. But it's been improved. My personal biggest problem with this game has nothing to do with the performance or the graphics. It has to do with inventory. I have a massive problem with inventory and I don't know really how to solve it. Some people are telling me that inventory works the same way as it did in Fallout 4, but to my knowledge that only works um, that your inventory is combined with your ship inventory. Now there are loot boxes in, uh, let's say for example, in Constellations headquarter where it seems to be unlimited, but it's not connected to any of my workbenches, uh, so I can't craft with the inventory in the loot box, I have to actually pick it up. And uh, if I misunderstand something about that, please let me know in the comment section because I just cannot figure it out and it's driving me nuts. Now if you're into sniping, you gotta do like you do in games. You hold shift in order to stabilize your aim and hold your breath for a short period of time. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's my semi-automatic laser sniper rifle. Uh, I don't know what to call it really. I have modded this myself. Modding is a big part of my gameplay. I enjoy it very much. And uh, I basically use no other... If I haven't modded the weapon myself, or at least it's heavily modded when I get it, I don't even bother using it. I just sell it right away. Or I keep it for modding. Uh, and and that purpose only now modding and leveling up is very different in this game and uh, I'm showing you that a lot during my stream on my main channel but uh, it is a little bit beyond the scope of this video so I'm going to dedicate a separate video to weapon modding and leveling up and explain that in a different video later on lung damage poor extreme ambient cold lung damage oh wait I have uh, snake oil don't I? So yeah, a lot of the things you see me browsing through here, well, not a lot of it, some of it, I have actually crafted myself. For example, snake oil. I'll take that later when I hurt more. Snake oil. Lung damage cured, ah, huh? yeah. Snake oil is good. Now, for the ones of you who prefer the more classic weapons like uh, revolvers, shotguns, and whatnot over the laser type weapons, well, this game got you covered. Check out this revolver, for example. I think I put some mods on it, I'm not entirely sure. That's revolver. I don't have anything on four right now. And this one. Oh wait, uh, I did have, let me see. A little bit far away maybe. Maybe get a bit closer for this weapon. Is that not hitting? I think it's not hitting. So yeah, if you're wondering, this is a modded shotgun. I have explosive rounds on it and it is dealing an enormous amount of damage. kind of nice to do and yes you guessed it that was actually me making these uh, enemies float in the air like that my anti-gravity ability uh, it's part of the main quest so now one of my biggest concern about this game of course the game engine which makes your character very clunky in its way the way it moves around it's really hard to demonstrate that in a video like this but for example throwing nades like this there's a certain delay with basically every action you do especially in combat and it bothers me quite a bit as a, uh, a player you know used to fast paced games like battlefield and uh, grenades are extremely powerful and I use them quite a bit even though I've never put a single perk into explosives now the problems with grenades is throwing them the mechanics is really weird and you want to figure that out before you rely on them and now I realized that we are almost 14 minutes into the video and I haven't shown you my favorite weapon so far until now this is a classic VSS from Old Earth and uh, that's what it's called when I bought it I didn't act I actually bought this weapon I didn't actually pick it up and uh, I don't recall if I've actually modded myself it has a silencer on it and uh, this scope so um, so far I haven't actually made any progress on this particular weapon but in single player games I play the game very very differently from what you see in my uh, battlefield videos and battlefield streams it is a totally different Matthias and uh, I base my playstyle partly on economy partly on variety I want to make sure that even if I fill up every weapon slot with what it is uh, eight or nine weapons I prefer 
so that I use one weapon with a, comp with a different ammo type so that not two weapons use the same ammo. Now I don't fully uh, follow that to 100%, sometimes I deviate a little bit, but for the most part I try to be very very ammo conservative in these kinds of games, even though in Starfield that doesn't matter as much as I thought it did, or maybe it's because I have that line of thought from the get-go, so I don't end up in problems running out of ammo. I've heard other people run out of ammo, I never do in these kinds of game, uh, games, but that also means that I play the game a bit different from a lot of other players, and uh, you will see that again if you follow my streams on my main channel. Yeah, I killed someone here inside Oh, what is this? Holy shit! So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, please follow me on uh, my main channel as well for the streams. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if there's something else you want me to cover, something else you want me to explain, and, uh, yeah. I hope I'll see you guys soon. You ever heard of the Mantis? The famous bounty hunter? Some people say You're the on the Mantis, Mantis ship, girl! Powers. I don't think that's true, though. They're just really tough, and have a cool ship. If you had a cool ship, you'd be like the Mantis, only better! I bet you'd make a pretty great superhero.